So I said, look, I'll, I'll do I'll do a fall or some kind of athletic kind of thing, and then I'll say live from New York at Saturday night, at which point I continued to break ribs and wrists and uh, legs and everything else. But uh, I just did sunk falls, and every night I'd say live from New York at Saturday night. And that's how we got around uh, and, and let the people know that it was a live show. After a year, uh, Howard Cosell was off. I wanted to call it Saturday Night Live without Howard Cosell, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> NBC didn't want that, so... What was, what was the what, what was the how did you make the choice to when you would do uh, when you poke fun at, at President Ford just make him such a bumbling kind of guy? I mean, had you ever met him and had he ever how fallen? How could you not him? make that choice? Well, I, I, I was a little boy. I don't know, but was uh, it, that's right, you were. Um, well, uh, you know, he was really our most athletic president. He was he was a football player in Michigan. Uh, he, was a, he was a pleasant man. And, um, You're applauding football or Michigan? I don't have what do no you idea. So <laughs> sort of one of these. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, uh, but uh, he didn't like all this newfangled technology like wiring. Uh, <laughs> he, he tended to trip and fall, and I don't know why. But you know, I, I immediately latched onto that and wanted. I loved Chaplin, and I loved those kinds of comics, and I, I, I figured, uh, you know, this is easy to make fun of him. And I didn't want him in the White House. Um, I wanted Carter at the time, and there, there you were. So I decided to make fun of uh, Gerald Ford, who turned out to be a very sweet man and a lovely guy who should never have been president, but that's, <laughs> that's the way it is. Boink, boink.